I wanted to ask you, um, you know, the last time you went down the list of WBC rankings, you went down the list, you know, a lot of people turned you down. Um, but this time around, how come you didn't do that? Um, I don't know. I, I have no clue. Uh, when I went down the list, that was more so a uh, top rank thing. Top rank uh, did that. And uh, honestly, the reason I'm fighting is the guy that I'm fighting, uh, with all due respect to him, is more so a top rank thing. Top rank, uh, that's what they bring to the table. So uh, that's yeah. that's what we got to do. All right. Um, I know my, my, well, the thing is, I wanted to ask you because there's a particular fighter that's in top rank stable. Um, his his handlers are saying they want that fight, which is Raymond Murataya. Um, you know, he's he's ranked number two in the WBC rankings. Um, the number one guy I think is going a different route. Was was his name ever brought up? No, nah, his name was never brought up. But um Robert said that he he said that uh he talked to top rank a couple of weeks before um that fight was supposed to be made and uh was saying Raymond Murataya uh was ready to fight me, so uh, I don't know why it didn't get brought to the table. I, I, I have no clue. That's uh, more so a top rank question you got to ask them. But um, I'm willing to fight him any day. Uh, I just was uh, trying to bet um, Pito, uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert Garcia's Pito. nephew? Pito. Or Pito. Brother? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to bet him 100K, and uh, they said they wasn't trying to do that. They said that's too much money. And I tried to bet uh, Robert 100K on the fight, but... Um, like I said, if I can't get none of these um big names in the ring, I think me and him could fight next. Uh because yeah, I think I think that'll be an exciting fight. Um, you know, I feel like he has a style that you know, for example, and I'm just I'm just saying, like like you know, the last after your last performance, right? You 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 made some excuses. You it's know, not so an excuse, it's it's facts. It's not it's not an excuse. It can't be an excuse if it's facts. Right, but you know, as fans, like People are not really trying to hear that, but you know, but I like mean, I said, I that's think cool. I think you ain't gotta hear it, but I mean it's clear as day the truth. You can go look on video and see my hand right before I got in the ring. You can see a big ass knot swollen hand before I'm getting in the ring. You haven't never seen no fighter get in the ring like that, bro. All right. Well, like I said, I I felt like Burataya would have been a good opponent. Say, you know what? I had a bad performance versus Edwin. You know, Burataya would have been a, a perfect, you know. Opponents, they say, you know what? This is a guy with a similar style. I'm gonna show everybody. That's not that a that similar style. No, that not is... similar style, but I'm saying a guy that can crack. Um, not a similar Bro, style, but a guy that. How can we know he can crack? crack? How many people he that dude he just fought? Did went to uh got stopped by uh Arnold Barbosa and he went twelve rounds with him, right or ten rounds, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, but styles make fight. But I mean that that. I mean, come on, they, bro. Styles yeah, make but that fight, cop, but let's well, be realistic. Hold on. The guy that you said has scary power, he packed him up in two rounds. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, like, good, good job. He, he he fought a 130-pounder and knocked him out at that time. Good job. But, bro, he just fought an African dude that 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 got stopped by Arnold Barboza and went 10 rounds and damn near lost the fight, bro. All right. Well, listen, that's a fight. I think it's an exciting fight. You don't think it's a good fight? Uh, I don't think he's on Edwin's level. How you just say, like, similar style. I think Edwin's better than him. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you for the time, and I appreciate it. Remy, good looking out. I'll drop down. Thank you, man. For sure. Look, he said something good about them Dominican fighters. You got Hey, it. listen, I'm Dominican, bro. So I was just, I was rooting for my guy Edward. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Like <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. But but hey. Bro, he's a he's a good fighter, bro. I, no, I, I know, I know. Listen, I know he's a very good fighter. I think Edwin is a very good fighter, and I think he's one of the best in the division, but Unfortunately, with his performance, because like I said, I also blame him as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a lot of people are trying to shit on him too. So I, I think it's some bullshit. But hey, it is what it is. But, but they trying to shit on him, and they don't realize who he was in the ring with that night. That's all it really was. He was in the ring with me that night, and it's just a different type of uh, uh, style in front of him. It's a hard style to figure out. But truthfully speaking, I think he deserved the opportunity to go fight with other people, and I think that he'll beat. He'll surprise a lot of people. No, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Thank you, man. Yeah, I got you. Yo, B. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian, yeah, yeah. Brian. Uh, hey, Cole, man, I just wanted to, man, genuine question, man. And, and I think to what you just said, too, but I, you are a regular nigga. But I, I think I think you listen to the fans too much on this app. And I tweeted you a couple of times, like, every 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 tweet that you see that, that criticizes you, I don't think it 
it needs to answer a response from you. Like, but man, you you a champ. You hear me? So like, uh, and 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 I say that because I want to know why you ain't go ahead and put hands on that on that young boy, uh, kid Austin. And before before you say what does he do for your career, it's me. This me speaking genuinely. I don't think Autumn do too much for your career either. I think you're gonna beat the shit out of Autumn, and I don't think it's it's gonna take you to the next step, to the next level. Yeah, but how you know Kid Austin gonna be able to fight me? Kid I, Austin is signed I, with Oscar De La Hoya, right? Right, right. I'm I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, I think you should have pushed and go ahead and whip that little get get his little get his young ass up out of there. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you didn't make the fight happen. I'm just saying you should have beat the shit out there, young nigga. The, pro- the problem is with that is how I feel. I feel like Kid Austin have never fought nobody. Like he never been in the ring with nobody. So. Basically, we're putting Kid Austin up there with, because of what his name. I mean, in in today's boxing, yeah. I mean, that, but that's, it's, it's because of Instagram followers, like y'all know him or something. But by, by today's standards, yeah. Yeah, but I, I can't I can't uh, agree with that. That's that's y'all standards. I think that Autumn just fought in a fight with Frank Martin, where he's he barely lost. He barely lost. That's somebody that actually been in the ring with somebody else and y'all got to see him perform at a high level also artem is a fucking olympian this nigga's olympian yeah I, I can medalist. understand that i can understand that I, yeah I, i'm just trying to explain to you that. so you can understand like the yeah. process okay so because because you're basically saying that kid austin does more for my career than artem no he does no 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 for- i don't think either neither one of them does i'm not saying i'm not saying kid austin does anything more to autumn i'm just saying neither one of them do i no, think but- it- they That's not true. Level. I mean, I, I just disagree with that Kid Austin does anything. I, I don't I don't see like what what where do we put him? He's in he had the stage of his career where it's like an Abdullah fight will make sense. He's not even at a Keyshawn Davis stage of his career. Keyshawn is he's not he's not on your level either. But I yeah, don't but, think Autumn on your level either. So th- Hey, B, B, my wait till you my finish bad, responding. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm, I'm talking to you. Nah, you good, you good, you good. I'm saying Keyshawn Davis is at a stage with his career where he's fighting contenders and fighting people that's somebody, right? Right. Kid Austin is at a stage of his career where he's like a prospect. Like, I I, I, I didn't see him fight one good person yet. So, um, honestly, I feel as though that's uh, he's just not on my level. In general, and I, I I didn't see that as a fight that I'm looking for. Uh, the Artem fight was just what Top Rank presented to me, truthfully speaking. That was the one fight that they presented to me. And, and this is my last, my last question. Do you think Autumn, what, what do you see Autumn that, uh, what do Autumn bring to the table to this fight, like that, that you would get out of this fight? Does he bring anything? <laughs> I think that he's a good fighter. I mean, y'all, I think that y'all is not realistic. Y'all want it to be somebody with a, a lot of Instagram followers or the clout. And I think that we got to be realistic here. Uh, he just fought Frank Martin in his last fight, and now we see Frank Martin fighting Tank, right? Y'all, right. Everybody says that that is a good fight, Frank Martin and Tank. And I agree. I think it is a good fight. But we just watched Artem fight Frank Martin, and he won damn near – all the early rounds, and damn near won that fight if he didn't take that one knee in that 12th round. And uh, I think that he just showed that he's on a high level too. So um, Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think it's a good fight for you as well. I'm just saying I think you levels above both of them. So but I'm that's all I was asking. All these, all these, truthfully. Agreed. For sure. Good shit, B.